Hello and welcome to Tim's BMW Repairs and Information. Well, I haven't got any stone chips. Well, none that you can see. Uh, in one of the last videos I did on the 6 Series, uh, one of the comments was, you've got a lot of stone chips and there's this method you can use to get rid of them. Well, I've got my own method of getting rid of stone chips and it's one which I've used for a long time on both the 8 Series, which looks absolutely perfect, and now this, which is looking absolutely perfect. And we'll go through how to do it. Now, what I use is T-Cut Colour Fast. Now, in the old days, T-Cut used to be some brown stuff you used to put on cars and it would melt the paint off. And it was pretty severe stuff and it was an abrasive as well. This isn't, this is a special polish, a coloured polish. And what it does, it will fill in stone chips. And then when you polish it off, it, this, the colour remains in the stone chip, so you don't see it anymore. So it's a shearing polish, which means that it's designed to shear, so that when you put your hand across it, put the cloth across it, top level comes off, leaving behind uh, some colour in the stone chips. And that's how you get rid of them. But uh, what I will warn you is it's quite hard work. It's quite easy enough putting the stuff on. Uh, getting the stuff back off again is quite hard work so we only do small areas and today I've done sort of this area of the bonnet and uh, that area of the bonnet and around the front so the, for the most severe areas if you try and do a whole bonnet for instance you're gonna half kill yourself and what you need is you need a glove and um, so you can grip onto the cloths properly and not only that it's there to uh, protect your hands because you get the black stuff in your hands it's very difficult to wash off so I use a glove which has got a rubber uh, palm on it so it grabs onto cloths and what else have we got we got cloths to get it off you say you have dedicated cloths because they end up looking like that use a couple of them because they do get saturated and an applicator so everything ends up really black um, but the system really works and it really works well uh, it's worth saying that on cars which haven't been polished for a long time, polish it first uh, makes it a lot easier to get the, uh, the colour fast stuff off. On a car that hasn't been polished and has got a quite a rough surface, you'll have a devil's own job getting this off. So before doing this, uh, last night I put Zeno 2 on it, gave it a good polishing all around the front, all the areas which I was going to put the T-cut on, and that made it a lot easier to get it off and uh, you need something that makes it a lot easier to get off because it is quite hard work getting it back off again and you can only use the palm of your hand and the side of, of your thumb don't use your fingers because that will pull the colour fast out of the stone chips rightio let's go through the whole procedure right well here we go there's a few spots yeah it's definitely a, a hole that one is so is that so is that so there's quite a few holes and because the base coat is pearl, it's very noticeable once you get stone chips. Now, you can use uh, a coloured polish, and that's what I'm going to use. But I found using a much darker colour a lot better. So first of all, I've got a glove on, uh, because otherwise your hands end up really black. And it doesn't come off for weeks. So here we go, we've got some cloths, so this is, has its own separate bag, whole kit does, so I've got cloths, microfiber cloths, all black, I've got teacup black, and turtle colour magic, but that stuff isn't anywhere near as good as the teacup, so I'll be using the teacup, and with that we need an applicator. Right, yeah, here's our applicator. Give that a bit of a shake. T-cut colour fast. Now, obviously, once these are filled in, they're not going to be exactly the same colour as the car, but because the base coat is pearl, it's going to look a lot better. You don't need too much of it, but what you need to do, you've got to form a layer, that's the important thing, uh, that fills up these holes completely so well, that looks a bit watery today 
I need to shake that a bit more, that's not going to work. So you can see I've given that a wipe over, it hasn't filled up the holes at all. So I can give that more of a shake, hopefully get some lumpier stuff out of it. Also don't get it on your drive because it doesn't come off and I've done that already. I'll get my cloth underneath there. I'm going to damp that cloth down on the... There we go, get the rest of that off. See if we can find some lumpy stuff in there. Yeah, that's a bit better. Right, the plan is to get it in the holes. That's the whole, the whole trick with this, is actually to fill up those holes. That one there is gone. One next to it hasn't. So yeah, just slide it over until it actually go, goes deep into the, the marks. There you go, that one's done. So this one here is causing the trouble. He's in now. Let's go over the whole area you're doing because you'll, what you'll find is there'll be tiny little ones that you're not really aware of. Let's just pull him back out of that one there. Need a bit more stuff in there. And how this stuff works is it's sheer polish, which means that it you can pull the top off of it. There we go. Oh no, it's really got to work it in there. That's better, that's filled him up. Yeah, it's a sheer polish, so when you polish it back off again, the plan is you get rid of the layer that's just sitting on the paint. And the layer which is in the bottom of the chip marks stays in. That's the plan. Now, I would have thought black's just completely the wrong colour, but it certainly works well on more metallic. And it works pretty well on this as well. It's a bit too dark for this, but it's much better than not doing it at all. I've tried all sorts of different colours of this, and the reds just aren't red enough. They not, don't have deep enough colour. Of course, this polish is slightly translucent, um, so it's not a solid colour when it's dried. So having it darker than the base coat, which is pearl, um, really helps. Now on the 8 series it uh, really works a treat and you can't see any stone chips on my 8 series um, and this stuff just stays in there <coughs> for a good few months up to almost a year just sits in those stone chips. Um, right, once you've got this in the bottom of these marks you just leave it once you sure it's got into the right to the bottom of those chip marks and you've got to make sure it goes right in we'll go around the whole lot again let's make absolutely sure we've got it in all the chip marks and then simple thing is we just leave it for a while leave it for about half an hour and we'll come back to this this little one there that's it Yeah, and what I do, oh, there's one up here. Not sure if the cameras can see that. It's not a very good picture altogether, really. The head's there. Yeah, I've got one up here, which is quite noticeable. And uh, yeah, quite a big one. So I'm gonna have to put a bit, a bit more stuff on there. That's it. There we go. Let's fill that one in. Hit one on the wing there. There we go. Right, we let that to dry. So that's going to be at least half an hour. Oh, so it's got to dry completely because, of course, the bits that dry last are the bit in the holes. And I can see that one's filled up nicely. That one's done well. Okay, we'll move on to the other side.
Right, what we got on the other side? I've got my glove on still because, oh dear, that's got on my fingers already. It really takes a while to come off. So we've got quite a few marks around here. There's all sorts of methods of getting rid of stone chips, but this is the least drastic one of them. At least it's only polish and it's quite easy to apply. Not that easy to get back off again. You have to put a bit of elbow grease into it to get it off. And you've got to really shear it off rather than rubbing it in. Shear it off so it stays in the holes. Radio. Also, because it is a polish, so it will shine up. So once we've... Uh, stuff all over the drive again. I only just cleaned the drive. Never mind. Oh, there we go. We'll work it into that one. There he's in. Keep rubbing it in until it actually sits in there. Yeah, and it's when you start off it's a bit too liquid and as it starts to dry then you've got more of a chance of pushing it into the holes. So that one's still very noticeable. But there we go, he's starting to go now. There we are. That's fill up with a polish. Let's rub it around again, make sure it isn't going to pop straight back out again because it really has got to get to the bottom of that. There we go, that's much better. And as I said, they're sort of stone chips you don't really notice. They're quite small. So it's best to do the whole area. And there's a nasty one up there. Keep on rubbing it in until it fills up. Go around again. Let's just check everything's filled up. There we go. So I've gone around again. They haven't reappeared, so that's good. Nothing's reappeared again. We just go across this. Looks like there's no stone chips in it, but they're sort of lighter marks and they're very small stone chips. Not quite so noticeable. I'll quickly go around the other side. Oh yeah, there's quite a few around there. Yeah, got a few around here, so let's do that. Right, I'm going to need a bit more polish now. Alrighty ho. Right, so it starts off quite watery. And as you go along, it'll start to solidify. And you get it in all of these creases. And as it starts to solidify, if you work it well into those stone chips, and when you do the polishing afterwards, they'll stay there. That's better. So they've all gone. All looks okay up there. Couple on the bonnet up there. I'll take you up there so you can see. So yeah, it's a good couple there. Try and get those. Yeah, that's worked itself in. That's better. Anything else around here? No, the rest of it looks okay. Now this uh, teacup colour fast stuff it is an excellent polish in its own right. It's a, you get a really good sheen off of it when it's finished, but I will warn you, it's much better to do a small bit like I've done here rather than try and do a lot of the car because it is quite hard work getting the stuff back out again. So yeah, do a small bit, wait for it to completely dry, don't wait for it to haze. Um, once it's hazed, it's only halfway there. The important thing is that it dries inside the the damage to the car and then when we polish it off um, what will happen is it will leave sort of dull marks where the chips are but we give it a bit more polish and then it will start shining them up and when they're shined up then you won't see them at all and I mean the car had noticeable 
um, chip marks in this in the front of the car as you always get uh, in the front of a car and uh, hopefully this will bring it back to a point where they're not noticeable at all so once that's dry we'll come back and do the rest okay while the front of the car dries we're just the bonnet's not too bad at all and that's been that's had Zeno 2 on it yesterday and um, the gloss enhancer so it's extremely slippery now um, but there's a few sort of whiter bits in this red bonnet and we can use the teacup colour restorer to get that, get rid of those so there's one there one there but overall it doesn't look too bad so what we'll do is we just give it a quick whiz over Right, let's have a quick look of, yeah, that all looks to have dried quite nicely. Now that's quite an area of the bonnet. I could have done the whole bonnet, <clears throat> but uh, from experience, it'll probably half kill me getting that much off, I should think. There you go. All right, look around the front. Yeah, that's fine. Can't see any stone chips in there at all now. Look at the other side. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's all ready to polish off now. So I've got some old microfiber cloths, which I always use the same ones for this job. So they end up pretty black. And the plan is here is that we don't rub it off as such. We sort of scrape it off. That's the plan. The plan is that you scrape it off and we leave the black stuff in the stone chips. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Well, it's the wrong colour, Tim. It's black and it's not not red well the reds that i've tried they just stick out like a sore thumb they really do makes it look look a lot worse where i found black is much better and at least you don't get the white of the pearl undercoat on it the base coat um it darkens it down and it works very well and this the teacup one is the one to go with right we'll clean all that off now righty ho well i'm ready to get the polish off of that so I need my glove back on. First of all, stop myself getting covered with black stuff and secondly to grip onto the cloth. Right, let's do this area here, which you can see. Yeah, really just a bit of a case of elbow grease on this, doing this stuff. You see, if I just polish it, as it goes dark, so like any other polish, you get a good shine on it. You can see the stone chip there. Right, let's try and get the stuff off now. There we go. So that's good, there's a stone. There was one there, there was one there. There's one up there. Can't see it really anymore. Give it a polish, it'll go shiny. And then you just don't see it at all. Now this big one here, I don't think we're gonna have much success with. But we'll give it a go anyway. Right, so it can definitely, it sort of stands out a bit, doesn't it? Certainly not as bad as it being white. A new bit of the cloth. Give that a quick going over. There we go, that's not too bad at all. It's there, but it isn't white. And it, without you knowing it's there, you're not gonna see that. That's not too bad at all. So I've got quite a bit more to get off here. Whizzle on. Now this polish has got a habit of just sticking to stuff. So in that case, use the palm of your hand, one bit of cloth like this. You don't need to use your fingers because that'll just pull the the polish out of the stone chips. Wow, you can't 
complain about that. Final polish on that area. Get the other camera so we have a good look at that. No, I'm pleased with that. That's as good as that's going to get. Get out of this place. Yeah, that looks great. Uh, it looks a lot better than it did. So really, just a case of pulling the polish out of all the other places. Yeah. Now, some places you have to use your thumb so you can't get your palm of your hand in there. And when we've done all of this, we can give it a quick coat of Zane 08 and that will uh, protect all of this. Now, it's quite hard work getting this polish off, which is why I recommend only doing small areas. Otherwise, you're going to have to kill yourself trying to do it. It's always been the problem with this. Did used to put lots on. So we'll try and do a whole bonnet or something like that. And it is just tiring getting it off. You have, really have to work it. And you can't put any point pressure on because that will pull the the uh, the polish out of the stain chip. So palm of the hand again. Thumb for this bit. But not only is it good for colour correction, it is very good polish as well. It's just hard to work. It's a very nice polish. Right, that's, that's that side done. That doesn't look bad at all, does it really? Not bad at all. Yeah, it can't, it's sort of vague sign of stone chips in there, but hundred times better. I'll whiz you up a bit. Do that one there. That's quite a big stain chip on those. Get yourself out of the way. And using just the palm of my hand. And then give it a good polish over. Yeah, that was a whopper, that one is, but you can see it. Let's give it a bit of a shine, and it's darn sight better than it was. There you go, four of them there. They look all right. Lovely, right, other side. Sun's gone in, thank goodness for that. It's been so hot today. Right, let's tackle that lot. That's quite a lot on that side. No stone chips at all around here that I can see anymore. Let's do this bit here. I'm going to use, I have to use the flap of my fingers to get in there. There we go. No stone chips left in there either. Excellent. Use my thumb around here. Thumb with gloves on, of course. Right, so that area there. That's fine. Now it's quite easy on a dark coloured car to cover up all these spots. Problems I found with silver cars was there's so many different silvers 
Uh, my son-in-law's had a silver one series and that's very difficult to do. It's very difficult to get silver right. White often works but it does tend to stand out. No, I'm very pleased with that. Get out of the sensor. There, that's lovely, isn't it? Look at the shine on that. Beautiful. No stone chips on that at all. Good, let's get that corner done. Use my fingers around the parking sensor. Get in all the, out the gaps. Well, that parking sensor had a big chip out of it and that looks okay. Sun's coming out again. I get fried right fun needed for these bits. There, yeah, two tiny little stone chips there. Disappeared. Polish them in. So yeah, we got one, two, three, four five and you really can't notice them anymore it's much better and now that's about as good as you're gonna get without respraying the a panel or something so this is a good method of day-to-day -day keeping it uh, looking good and this stuff lasts for ages once it's in right how's that looking Yeah, it's looking great. Oh, I can still see some stuff here. Difficult to see sometimes. And I did this on my wife's mini. Had them in seagulls, for goodness sake. Which is white. And for the next, well, I'll probably still find it today. Just bits of white. Colour restore polish on it it's very difficult to see where it is and the only time it sort of reappears is if you just give it a wipe over unfortunately it picks up the dirt so it's noticeable but on a on this car that'd be lovely Oh, blimey, that's hard work. Right, that looks like it. Right, there we go then, job all done. Looking absolutely perfect. You can't see any stone chips in this at all. It looks absolutely perfect. Uh, I didn't do the whole bonnet because 
Well, I don't want to kill myself, to be honest. It's hard enough work doing small areas. Um, there's parts of the, air, of the bonnet over there which could do with being done, but no, that, that's fine. The front of the car was the most important bit, and that's absolutely perfect. I just noticed I hadn't done the uh, beneath the fog lights, so I've just done those. Which is why you've got sort of black dots everywhere around. So I tried to do it quickly and then just chuck the black polish everywhere. And it doesn't come off of the drive either. So there we go. Job all done. Very pleased with that. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks again for subscribing. Uh, thanks for all your comments. I do enjoy reading them. And I will try and answer them as quickly as possible. See you next time.